Tesla has wowed the tech world yet again by introducing the newest version of its Tesla bot, Optimus Gen 2. This humanoid robot is designed to carry out day-to-day -day repetitive tasks as well as jobs that are otherwise dangerous for humans to carry out. Aside from that, since the bit is equipped with Tesla's own AI system, it can even assess its environment and adapt to a certain extent. Let's dive deeper into what this robot is really about. But before we begin, remember to subscribe and turn your notifications on. To understand how big of a leap the Optimus Gen 2 is, we need to first talk about how the first revisions of this robot functioned. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, first announced the Tesla bot in 2021, marking the start of the Tesla Optimus project. It's a humanoid robot that would use the same AI and hardware as Tesla's self-driving cars and could perform different complex human tasks. Musk said that the project's goal was to make a robot that could do dangerous, boring or repetitive jobs that people can't do, like picking up groceries, cleaning the house, handling toxic waste or working in factories. The idea of a humanoid doing all the dangerous work seemed promising, but the initial prototypes of the robot were different. Tesla has been making and testing different robot prototypes and showing their work at different events. The first of them was called Bumble C. It was first revealed in September 2022, and back then it could barely walk or even wave its hands properly. A few months later, in March 2023, another prototype was revealed, this time called the Optimus Gen 1. Gen 1 was a big step ahead of Bumble C. It was more human-like and could not only wave its hands and head, but it could sort things and keep its balance. But still, the robot couldn't walk on its own and came onto the stage using wheels. But that all changed in the next revision. The newest version, Optimus Gen 2, was shown off in December 2023. It's faster, lighter and more agile, thanks to some great improvements. Best of all, it's even more human-like than Gen 1. Now, to understand the difference between the new Optimus, we need to talk about the original Optimus that Tesla first introduced back in August 2021 at their AI day. The idea was to make a robot that could do tasks humans don't want to, like helping in factories or dealing with dangerous waste. Back then, Optimus looked more like a person in a robot costume than an actual robot. It was rolled out on stage, waved its hand, and did some simple moves. Elon Musk hoped to have a working model by 2022. Since then, Tesla has been busy making Optimus look and act more like a real robot. In September 2022, they showed off two versions of it at their second AI day. One was named Bumble C, and it walked very carefully, almost like it was trying not to wake someone up. The other was the Optimus we know today. This version of Optimus had smoother, more human-like movements in its hands. It could move its arms and head on its own. But it still couldn't walk alone, so it had to be brought on stage with wheels. The new Tesla Optimus Gen 2 robot looks, moves, and interacts more like a human than its predecessors. The robot has superior strength, speed, and durability compared to humans, but it lacks humanity's expressiveness, creativity, and flexibility. What's really the highlight feature of this robot is its hands. It can handle fragile items with ease, like an egg, because of its 11 degrees of freedom and the tactile sensing on each finger. The skin-like covering on its hands is perhaps an attempt to give it more human-like appearance, while simultaneously improving its grasp and sensitivity to touch. Optimus Gen 2 has dexterity in its hands that allows it to do things like dance, sort blocks, and pick up fragile objects. At 125 pounds, or 10 kilograms lighter than its predecessor, the Tesla Optimus Gen 2 robot stands at a height of around 5 feet and 8 inches. It has improved walking speed by 30% and can now reach 4 miles an hour, and its head can move both the vertical and horizontal planes because of its 2 degree of freedom actuated neck. The robot is smaller in size but way more efficient because of the integration of sensors and actuators developed by Tesla, with the electronics and harnesses. The force and torque sensors in its feet enhance its balance and stability. This means it can walk on uneven surfaces thanks to its articulated toe portions, which imitate the geometry of the human foot. Let's focus on some of the key technical features that make the Optimus Gen 2 really stand out. A major highlight of this robot is its hands. They are built to move in all directions thanks to something called 11 degrees of freedom. This flexibility lets the hands do precise work, like picking up items or using tools. What's even more impressive is that these hands can sense touch. They have a special skin-like covering that can bend and stretch without damage. 
Just like Tesla's self-driving cars, the Optimus Gen 2 is a robot that moves around on wheels and uses artificial intelligence and technology. It has a set of cameras mounted on its face that function as the robot's eyes, and the computer that controls everything, aka its brain, is located on its back. The robot is able to navigate, identify things, and understand its environment thanks to neural networks and computer vision. Among the robot's pre-programmed abilities are the ability to walk, crouch, wave, and sort. In addition to picking up objects like bottles, opening doors, and playing games, the robot can also learn from its surroundings and carry out activities that were not originally programmed into it. Speech, movements, and facial expressions allow the robot to converse with people. The internet connectivity allows the robot to access data and information stored in Tesla's network. The new Optimus Gen 2 robot is really advanced with its tactile sensing. This means it can feel things around it in a way no other robot can. Understanding if something is hot, cold, heavy, light, smooth, or rough. This helps it to interact in a more human-like way. What's also impressive is how fast it can walk, around 4 miles per hour. And it can move its head and neck by itself, which is great for looking around or talking. Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 is truly revolutionary. But a product is only as good as its applications. So where can this new robot be used? Well, it might be useful in many ways, which would be good for society and Tesla alike. But taking on dangerous, repetitive, or precise jobs like material handling, quality inspection, or part assembly, the robot can help Tesla streamline its production processes. Offering the robot as a service or product to other businesses and consumers can also help Tesla extend its product line and income streams. By taking care of mundane, repetitive, or hard jobs around the house, like cleaning, cooking, grocery shopping, or gardening, robots can boost human productivity and quality of life. In addition to providing companionship, care, education, and entertainment, the robot can assist in providing services and support to individuals who require them, such as the elderly, the disabled, or those who live alone. It can figure out how to use new things, solve problems, or even learn how to chat with new people or animals. Uber for Sean. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Sean. What's up, man? Good. If you do that again, you're gonna get hurt. May I take your luggage? It could do stuff like lifting heavy things, putting parts together, or checking if things are made right. Basically, it can handle the tough or boring jobs. Then there's construction work. Optimus could be a game changer on building sites, doing heavy lifting, digging, or clearing up messes. Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 sounds very promising, but the robot isn't perfect. It has to deal with a lot of scientific and moral problems. And on the technical side, the robot could have issues like mistakes, malfunctions, or bugs that could hurt its safety, dependability, or performance. Or worse, the safety of others around it. The robot could also be put in settings that are hard, unpredictable, or foreign, which could test its skills, intelligence, or ability to adapt. And it might also come under attack from the outside by hackers, saboteurs, or thieves, endangering its integrity, privacy, or safety. Concerning ethics, the robot might bring up issues like morality, duty, or accountability, which might change how it acts, decides, or interacts with other things. The robot could also have effects on society, like on jobs, discrimination, or rules, which could change how it is accepted, used, or perceived. These issues are something that can't be overlooked, so it's a given that Tesla is, and needs to, work on them. With the release of the Optimus Gen 2 robot, Tesla has made significant strides in robotics and artificial intelligence. With its incredible features that make it more human-like than ever before, this robot is built to replace humans in mundane and repetitive duties. Though complicated and divisive, the Tesla Optimus Gen 2 robot is an intriguing and perhaps game-changing project. Depending on its development, usage and regulation, this robot could have numerous impacts, both good and bad on Tesla and society at large. So what do you think about the Optimus Gen 2? Do you think it's useful, realistic, ethical, or something else? Let us know what you think in the comments below. See you in the next video.